I'm a scientist. I collect spores, molds, and fungus. Why worry? Each of us is wearing an unlicensed nuclear accelerator on his back. Uh, we have the tools, we have the talent. Hi, I'm Matt, I'm a Ghostbuster, and I do science stuff. Those were really awful sound effects, but today's episode is all about rockets. Film canister rockets, actually. So, today's experiment is really easy. All you need is an old school film canister. The, the white, clear ones work better. Um, you may have trouble finding these because most people use digital cameras these days. Uh, have a hunt around at home, you can't find one. You can buy them on eBay in bulk for like five or 10 cents each. And you need a pack of Alka-Seltzers, that's it. You just add water and you've got a rocket. So, all you need to do, add your film canister with about one third of the way up with water. Take an Alka-Seltzer. This one's already broken, which is handy. You break it up. Throw it in, put on the lid as fast as possible. Flip it, stand out of the way and wait. The anticipation. It's actually really cool when it goes up. There we go! Oh my god, they go sky high. This is really cool. That's a train. Okay, so the next one I filled with uh, water and food coloring. So we'll see if food coloring does any difference. Alright, break up the tablet again. Oh, I've lost my lid for this one. Right, we'll use this one. In the container. Lid on. Out of the way. Come on, come on, I know it wants to. Hey! Wow, food coloring makes it really messy. All right, so I thought I'd try a different container as well. My cat is diabetic, so this is the container that his little uh, testing strips come in. It's a different cat, but it still seals the same, so we'll see if that works. All right, container. Alka-Seltzer tablet. That food coloring got everywhere. All right, even got on me. That's no good. Alright, have to break that really small because it's a small container. Tablet, cat, flip, out of the way. Oh! <laughs> that's really cool. Alright, so that's awesome. Look how many containers I've got. I'm going to do a massive launch. I'm going to set it up, then I'll turn the camera back on, launch them all at once. Cool, let's get going. Okay, so this is going to be a bit chaotic. I've got 20 of them set up to go. They're all different water levels, so they're all going to go off at slightly different times. I'm going to try and power through and do them all and see how it goes. Hopefully I don't get hit in the face. That's my biggest fear. Alrighty. Let's get started. Going off soon. Oh, that was a lame one. I think I'm not getting some of the lids on. Oh, that was a big failure. Oh, come on, that one's going to be big. Oh, I knew it was. Oh, terrifying. Quite scary. That one's gonna be big, the end one. Oh, they're taking ages. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, that one broke. That one's not gonna go. Oh, shit! Come on, come on, come on. Ah! Oh! I'm getting out of here. Wait! <laughs> oh, that is so much fun. Ah! <laughs> I didn't see that one there. <laughs> Yeah.
This is quite scary. That one's gonna be big, the end one. Oh, they're taking ages. Oh, that one broke. That one's not gonna go. Oh, straight! <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Oh! I'm getting out of here. Oh, that is so much fun. Ah! <laughs> I'm a professional. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that episode. Give it a try at home if you can find a film canister and buy some Alka-Seltzers. Um, oh, yeah, I was going to try the uh, bicarb rocket as well. I got confused because I got so scared there. Um, I'm going to cut. I'm going to set up my bicarb rocket. We're going to see how it goes. Uh, Yes, yeah, so I'll get onto that. I really hope the camera was recording then. <laughs> All right, so this is called a Liquifly Fizz Rocket. Now it's very similar to what I did in episode two with the uh, Fizz Inflator to inflate the balloons. It's uh, bicarb soda and vinegar, but this time I'm going to use it to make a rocket go. Hopefully, I've never tried this one before. Let's see how we go. Oh, oh yeah, that looks really cool. Hmm, I'd like to try a big one of them one day. Maybe for a future episode, we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you on another time of, uh, I'm a Ghostbuster does science stuff, I forgot my name there. <laughs> see ya.